Hi, I'm Larry Walker. Amazing Monday. What would be your perfect day? I mean, your ideal day, a day that you went to bed that night and you just thought that was the most incredible day. That's how I want most of my days in my life to be just like that. What would that perfect day be like for you? I'm the one that controls whether or not I'm gonna have a good day. All of us, we are the ones that define if negative impacts are gonna have a good or a bad impact on your life. It's your mentality, your mind is a battleground. Nobody can affect whether or not you're gonna have a good day, but yourself and your own mind. You must come up with a morning routine that you do every single morning, or at least more mornings than not, that puts you in control of yourself and in control of your day. This is what I do, and I cannot explain the power that I get from starting my day off and being bigger than my excuses and being in control. First and foremost, wake up on time. When that alarm goes off, get your butt out of bed. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Why is that important for persistence? The reason why is because the first decision that you're making of the day is to actually get up and get moving. That means you are persistently bigger than your excuses. You are persistently bigger than feeling lazy. And you are persistently feeding the feelings that typically stop you. You no longer need to be a victim to the past. You no longer have to be a victim to a future in which you are projecting negativity. You no longer have to be a victim to anything that anyone has ever said about you. You no longer have to be a victim to the things that you've said about yourself. You no longer have to be a victim to anything. So affirm your vision every day. And don't affirm it as I'm trying, I wish, I want to. Every single day, I am is the creative force of the universe. Whatever you attach I am to, you will become. You say, I am, you know, tired, I am frustrated, I am lonely. I think you're inviting more of that in that. So the principle is to turn it around, invite what you want into your life. Three questions you want to ask yourself on a regular basis. You want to ask, how can I grow? What can I give and what can I celebrate? Those are three questions you want to live with because you are an evolving, unique being. You want to ask every day, how can I grow? So at the end of that day, you're not the same person that got out of bed. You've had an insight. You've had a revelation. You've practiced something new. You've tried something new so that you have become more yourself. How can I grow today? I don't want to be the same person 365 days from today. I want to evolve. I want to become more myself. I want to express myself better. The second thing that I want you to do, before you look at your email, before you answer your phone, before you start surfing Vox and Vice and BuzzFeed and, you know, TeamStream and checking out the sales on Zappos and looking at your Facebook newsfeed, before you pick up the damn phone, please, please, please figure out your two priorities for the day. These are the things that matter to you, whether it's saving money and, and making sure you're focused on that or showing up at work and being a contributor or whether it's changing how you treat your spouse or your kids or the person that you're with, or heck, getting to the gym because you said you would. Whatever it is that your two priorities are, put them in your head before you pick up the phone. Why? The reason why is because of persistence. The reason why is because I want you to have a good day. Drink in the moment. Live for today. Be excited with where you're at. Make the most of it and enjoy every moment. Live 
every day like it's your last. Because one of these days you're going to be right. Enjoy the ride. Success is a journey, not a destination. So live in the moment and enjoy the moment. I still have to overcome negativity. I still have to get out of bed. I still am stressed some days. And there's some days I question myself. There's some days I make bad decisions. And it's just how you get over them, how you handle it, and how you go forward. Do you know what makes for a bad day? What makes for a bad day is snoozing, starting your day off late, starting your day off tired, starting your day off by mainlining everybody else's news feed on social media and looking at everybody else's life and, and saying to yourself, oh my God, they're on vacation or gosh, they look so great or their friends are so fancy or my gosh, they've got so money. You start off your day looking at that shit, you're never gonna have a good day. You gotta start off your day by getting up on time, figuring out your priorities and then getting to work on them. Do not pick up your phone until you have done those two things. I think the single biggest reason why people have bad days is because they start them off by looking around at everybody else and seeing what they're doing instead of having the focus and the discipline to actually start your day off with you in control and with your priorities front and center. Okay. You want to introduce yourself to the to the uh, students of Believe Memphis Academy. Okay. Miss Jennifer, really after know school. Exactly what I'll say, except for uh, an amazing artist. Huh? <laughs> oh, you got a question? Did you drew that? Did you yeah. drew that? I drew that. Oh, okay, yeah, great. I drew that. Uh, however, uh, I don't always just draw. I paint too. Yeah. Okay. So this is what is called a charcoal drawing. So this one's complete. I finished that one. And so now I'm finishing up this one. No, you got a question. What are you drawing? Uh, I am drawing this for a client that is having a family reunion. And of course, a lot of times it's like one side of the family and then there's another side of the family. So this is one side of the family and this is the other side of the family. Those are the patriarchs, the peop the older members who started everything. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how you have a grandmother and a grandfather, and they might have a grandmother and a grandfather, where well, these are somebody's great-great-grandparents, and they started the whole family going. Um, for most of you, how many of you live in North Memphis? Okay, great. Well, this artist, uh, Larry Walker, he's a professional artist here in Memphis, he happens to be from Klondike community. He grew up in this neighborhood, and he also graduated from Northside. So uh, he has a lot in common with you all in that he walked these same streets, but he took an interest in art and went to the Memphis College of Arts on a scholarship out after high school. And he's had a chance to not only draw, but also paint portraits. He's working on a portrait over there of a husband. Well, they're about to be married. Uh, uh, so that's a painting. So he can not only uh, sketch drawings, but he can also paint them as well. So any of you interested in art, you might want to hang around. Uh oh, you see the hands? You see the hands? Uh, my question was, how do you draw that good? Practice. Mm. I think it has a lot to do with the watch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in junior high. What, what grade do you guys Fourth They're elementary. Grade. Now, when I was in elementary, I didn't draw that much. But when I got in junior high, I couldn't stop drawing. And then when I got in senior high, I really stopped drawing. So it was like I couldn't get enough of it. And so I drew every day. So what did you have? What kind of resources did you have? Pencil. Pencil and... <laughs> Pencil and paper. That's it. That's it. Uh, Yes. No clothes? Well, uh, when I was in the ninth grade, I tried to color a tree. I tried to paint it. And I did a really nice pencil drawing. But when I put paint on it, I messed it up. <laughs> and I said, I'll never paint again. I'm just going to stay with drawing. But then that lasted about a good week, and then I was tempted again to try to paint. 
I remembered some things that I did that kind of muddied that other one up. And I did a little different. And I noticed it was a little better than the last one I did. Wasn't you great. You it's a little better. You still got the business? Any more questions? No? Well, I, I just want to thank Miss uh, Jennifer for allowing you all to come by. All right. Uh, well, look, you guys can come anytime. Because he's always. <laughs>